In this video, I want to review some basic information. That is the difference between an altitude, a median, a midpoint, a perpendicular bisector, and an angle bisector. So consider the triangle ABC. And let's say that BD is a median. So if BD is a median, what conclusions can we draw? Well, we need to know what a median is. A median is a line segment that extends from the vertex of one side of the triangle, so vertex B, to the midpoint of the other side. So D is the midpoint of segment AC. A midpoint is basically a point in the middle. The midpoint breaks the segment into two congruent segments, which means that AD is congruent to AC. And that's all you need to know about a median. A median is simply a line segment that connects the vertex of one side of the triangle to the midpoint of the other. And the median will bisect that segment. So you can think of the median as a segment bisector. It splits the segment into two congruent parts. Now the next one you need to know is the altitude. So we're going to use the same letters. This time, BD is going to be described as an altitude. So what exactly is an altitude? What do you think it is? And what does it do? An altitude, like a median, is a line segment. But it differs from a median. It doesn't split this segment into two congruent parts. An altitude simply forms right angles. So an altitude is basically a line that's perpendicular to the other side. So BD is a line segment that's perpendicular to segment AC. And anytime you have perpendicular lines, it forms right angles. So angle A, D, B is congruent to angle C, D, B because they both equal 90 degrees. And so just make sure you understand that an altitude simply connects, excuse me, connects the vertex of one side of the triangle to the opposite segment and it forms right angles. B, D is perpendicular to A, C. Now let's move on to perpendicular bisectors. So consider the segment AB. And we're going to draw a line that passes through it. Let's call this line L. And let's say that line L is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So you can write it like this. Line L is the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. Now perpendicular bisector is basically the hybrid of a median and an altitude combined. So like an altitude, it forms right angles. And like a median, it splits the segment into two congruent parts. So let's call this point M. So therefore, M is the midpoint of segment AB. And AM is congruent to BM. So the perpendicular bisector has features of an altitude and a median. But there are some other things you need to know about it. Let's say if we put point P and Q on the perpendicular bisector. Any point on this line is going to be equidistant to the endpoints of the segment. So AP and BP are congruent. And also, AQ is congruent to BQ. So notice that the perpendicular bisector forms congruent triangles. This triangle is congruent to that triangle. As you can see, this side is congruent to that side. This side is congruent to this side. 
and also the two triangles share a common side, which is equivalent based on the reflexive property. So by the SSS postulate, you can prove that these two triangles are congruent. Now, if you can show that these two points are equidistant to the endpoints of the segment, then these two points, they form the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. Because sometimes you have to prove that a line is the perpendicular bisector. And to do that, you got to show that these two points are equidistant to A and B. So therefore, line PQ is the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. Now the next thing that we need to talk about is an angle bisector. So let's say that BD is an angle bisector of ABC. What conclusions can we draw? Now an angle bisector is a ray. So angle, I mean ray BD bisects angle ABC. If you think about it, whenever you need to form an angle, you need to connect two rays to it. So two rays are necessary to form an angle. This is the vertex of the angle, also known as the common endpoint. So let's say this is A, B, C. So that's angle ABC. And then another ray is used to divide ABC into two congruent parts. Let's call this BD. So ray BD bisects angle ABC. So these two angles are congruent. So we can make the conclusion that angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. And so that's the definition of an angle bisector. It simply bisects the angle into two congruent parts. So you draw it starting from the vertex of an angle, I mean of a triangle, and then it points to the opposite side. But angle bisectors, by definition, are rays. So I'm going to give you a mini quiz. I'm going to draw four triangles. And the line in the middle, I want you to determine if it's an altitude, a median, a perpendicular bisector, or an angle bisector. Let's call this A, B, C, D. And let's say this is E, F, G, H. Let's say this is J, K, L, M, and Q, R, S, T. So let's say this is a right angle. Let's say this is a right angle and this side is congruent to that side. And let's say uh, these angles are congruent and QT is equal to TS. So which one is a median? Is it BD, FH, KM, or RT? So feel free to pause the video and identify the median. The median, all it does is it splits a segment into two congruent segments. So that represents the fourth picture. So therefore, RT is a median. Now, which one is the altitude? An altitude, all it does is it forms right angles. So BD is an altitude. Now, which one is the angle bisector? Now, this one is straightforward because it bisects angles. So KM is the angle bisector. And the last one is the perpendicular bisector. So altitudes and medians are line segments. An angle bisector is a ray. It starts from K and points towards M. And a perpendicular bisector is a line. So that is it for this video. If you want to find more of my geometry video tutorials, just visit my channel and you could access the playlist, 
which I try to organize the videos in order so you can follow you can follow it based on the course of your class so if you like this video let me know feel free to comment and thanks for watching